Hello, my name is Smith, and my project is about classification of different species of plants by their images. The dataset that I have used in this uh, project is available on LeafMap website. It contains images of leaves from 185 different plant species. In this project, I just need only 30 plant species because they are used for many medicinal purposes. So, first of all, I have downloaded the dataset from this website, and it is available in tar format. Now, I have to extract this dataset, and I got four directories which are uh, the images collected from fields and lab and uh, they are separated from image and the segmented images i need to resize and read the image in an array format so i have uh, downloaded one extra library which is image io image io reads the file into various formats now i have imported all other required libraries for this project and in this data set, there is a text file that contains file id, image path, segmented path, species and source of the image. We have total of 185 species present in this data set. First of all, I have to extract the file name from the image path, which I need later in this project. I have, cre I have created one function that uh, separates the file name from the image path. There are uh, 155 unnecessary uh, directories which we want to use so it is better to delete them uh, i have created one plant record csv which contains the name of the 30 directories which we will be, which will be using in this project and the names of these 30 directories uh, are visible from names.value now i have created a data frame that holds the data of these 30 plants that we will use in this project the species name in the csv file was separated with spaces so i changed them to underscore because the name of the directories are also separated with underscore and it will be easy to match the name now we can print this and we can see this that the white space is being converted into the underscore and it will now be easier for us to delete those files which are not present in this array so i have created one function remove extra that takes the uh, Im uh, image directory path and it will match with the array that we have previously constructed and if that uh, directory name is not available in the array it will be deleted with, uh, with this line shuttle.rm3 after the removal uh, we need uh, to scale our images to a single format uh, that our neural network will use so for that we have to resize all of our images into 64 by 64 pixels so i've created one function called resizer and it takes the file name file directory and output directory and it changes the size of the image and saves it into the output directory and after changing uh, this we got one new uh, resized folder in our directories and it holds all of the new formatted or scaled images from our data set we, we can see this data set by plotting them and we can see that uh, all of these are 64 by 64 pixel images we have to create one target that we will use as a, a y in our neural network so the target that i have generated is using one counter variable that is zero and within change of each species it will be incremented by one at last i will get 20 uh, 0 to 29 uh, labels for my uh, different species of the plant now i have created one image array uh, that is uh, being read from the image io library and all of the image get converted into array and uh, it get appended into the new list that is called vectors now we have uh, our x value and y value so all of these values are arranged in alphabetical or in, in a sequence so we don't want that our neural network should learn or memorize this so we will shuffle this data so it will avoid any type of uh, overfitting in our network now we have stacked our x values into one single x value and our target uh, we have uh, done one hot encoding so that uh, we can get uh, more accuracy from our uh, ne neural network i have saved all of these into dataset.random so after reading this file uh, we are uh, going to create one uh, model that will be learn uh, that will learn from this training set and will be able to predict on the uh, testing set
so for training and testing set we need to create a training set and testing set and validation set that will be used for uh, adjusting the learning rate in our uh, neural network model so we have splitted our data set accordingly so uh, now we are going to create a CNN model the CNN model is made up of convolution 2d networks convolution 2d networks layer layers are used which act as a filter to extract the most valuable features from our images it actually adds the values from 5 by 5 matrices and put them into a new matrix we have used max pooling 2d uh, this layer found uh, finds the maximum value from a matrix and put into another matrix it helps to reduce the dimension from the matrix or our input set i have used dropout layers so that the model won't get overfitted dropout layers turns off some random neurons during the training process uh, which helps to avoid the overfitting in our neural network and the last layer is 30 uh, softmax active, uh, 30 layers and the last layer is softmax layer which have 30 outputs which will be our labels for uh, the prediction the optimizer is used for this model is adam optimizer it adjusts the learning rate during the runtime to gain much accuracy as possible and the loss that i've used is the categorical cross entropy which is used for classification tasks so i have created one model checkpoint which monitors the validation loss if the uh, validation loss gets improved during the training process then only the model gets saved otherwise it discarded so after 100 epochs we can evalu evaluate our model and we can get 0 0.31 as our validation loss and 0 0.93 which is equal to 93 percent accuracy on our training set so it's time for prediction and we can see that the predicted value and the target value are almost same so when we plot our accuracy and uh, loss graph we can see that the accuracy is being increased and it tends to increase even further and the loss is also same it decreases with each epoch 